I have got a very special meet the owner on a very windy day in England today. I am with Michael. Hello, Michael. Hello, Nick. How are you? Very well. Great to meet you and great to meet this fantastic boat that you've got. This is a, a Bering 76, I think I'm right in saying. Yes, Bering 76, uh, called uh, Le Mancha. Superb. And you've just taken delivery, I think. No, it is uh, delivered in uh, October last year. So it is one uh, year now. Okay. Oh, you had a year. Yep. Yes, one year now. And uh, we just brought it now from uh, Antalya, where it was delivered, where it was built. Uh, from the shipyard. We started in March there uh, this year and did all over the Mediterranean. We crossed the Gaze, we crossed the uh, uh, Peloponnese, we crossed S Sardinia, Sicilia, then we the Balearic, we, go, we went to uh, uh, Gibraltar and then we crossed the uh, uh, west coastline of Atlantic, of uh, Portuguese, France and then to Falmouth, Great Britain and now we got um, some Perfect, that's brilliant. What I would love to do is hop on board with you and perhaps you can share us a couple of your favorite things about the boat and, and the things that, that particularly sort of attracted you and that you wanted. And then maybe we can have a sit down because I know you've got some plans. It'd be great to hear, first of all, a little bit of your history um, with boating and then what your plans are for this one. Okay, on the boat then. Yeah, okay, fantastic. The <laughs> Lovely. This is crew cabin. Uh huh. This will have a, a refit now in the shipyard because something is not so nice. But yep. This is crew cabin for, for the bits. So, this is engine room. But, uh huh. Uh, what is very special with uh, bearing is that they cover all uh, the floor with these. Uh, uh, covers so underneath here is the gyro and here is uh, are the engines right and uh, the specialty, specialty of uh, bearing is to build these kegs under the hull and to bring this engine into these kegs so you have a lower point of gravity uh, uh, and you have this amazing space and I can tell you when you are in hasty weather and do your hourly checks of engine room and of all uh, your, your devices here it is really good because you are standing here you are not hurting you yeah I had the at, at other boats if the engine is here it is hot yep. you're going in the waves yes <laughs> you can hurt you so this is really perfect and for maintenance it's not a problem some screws take it off and you have uh, access to the engines to do all this um, maintenance that's fantastic so the engines themselves are actually under your feet yes no wow yeah, that really is low, isn't it? Yeah, it is low. It is yeah. really, really low. And this is for uh, balancing the boat for the, for the gravity, uh, gravity to bring it down. Uh, it is really, really well done. And, okay. But you have access. It's only less screws. If you Did want to go well. into these kegs, you can crawl under the engine. So it is all accessible. Brilliant. Fantastic. Okay, let's uh, head on board if we may. And we'll have a look at a few of the things inside. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Yes, now this big cockpit, uh, just a few friends, this nice uh, big cockpit. Yep. And uh, special, uh, for me, especially in this boat, what I want to have is a remote control. Right. Um, uh, it's a wired uh, remote control, not wireless. It's wired, important because of the interferences with this uh, in the marinas. Mm -hmm. So for me, it is important to have wired because I feel not secure with these others. So it is wired to a remote control, I can show you later, uh -huh. we talk about, and so we can uh, sail this boat with two. So right. my wife and me, we just can sail this boat with this remote control, I can go anywhere. And you see, maybe later we can show this tiny place where we are now, where we are yes. now. And if you see where we can go with this boat, in really narrow spaces with this remote control is perfect, perfect thing. Brilliant, we should have a quick look at that while we think about it, but this is the space that we're in. So this boat was reversed down here? Yes, oh, and then there were another big sailboat at this empty space now. Yeah. Uh, it's been another uh, big sailboat, so we came in back uh, with aft first, we stern yep. first, and then we just came in and turned the boat and brought it in here. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Well done you. <laughs> okay. So we my wife and me uh, love to have these open, all open. Normally the galleys and the uh, boats are closed, yep. especially if you have crew. But we love to have it open because we have it 
our home as well. Uh, if you have friends, uh, uh, cooking is the center of all. So we can stand here, somebody is cooking, you have to drinking your wine. So we love to have this uh, very open. That's why we did it. Bearing, uh, uh, the previous plans of bearing was just to cover this normal, like in other yards. But I said, no, please let uh, keep it open like uh, it is. So the fully equipped uh, galley with two ovens, one steam oven, one normal oven. Uh, so there is everything uh, what you need to have a nice living on the board and a, a nice, nice cooking on the board. Well, they do say that all the best parties end up in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's perfect. That's, that's it. Yeah, right in the middle of the boat. Okay. So and these colors are uh, all light colors. My, my wife did these all, this design with bearing together and we love these light colors and that's why it's like it is. <laughs> perfect. Yeah, it looks great. Ah, there's John. Okay. Sorry, John, no, it's okay. Yeah, it's no problem at all. Yeah, you come down, I'll go up. We've got more than one YouTubing going on here. <laughs> Whoops. Hello there. there. Hi, this is John from Yacht Boy. Yacht Boy, yeah. There nice to meet you. <laughs> Welcome aboard this fantastic boat. I'll let you guys crack on. All right. I'll go up top. Excellent. See you later. Carry on. Okay. So yeah, this is, this is just a small uh, laundry, okay. but it is uh, perfect, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we have all washer dryer uh, separately. And this is a uh, master cabin with a walk-in wardrobe and a big um, head. So uh, yes. That's fantastic. I'm going to do a full tour on this one, so I, I won't go into every area now, but just to give you a very quick yeah. look at what we're talking about. Okay. That's what we've got in here. So it's important uh, to have uh, a space in the master room because we are living on this boat and that's why we are not only here for vacations, we are uh, all the time living on the boat. That's why it's good to have a nice uh, uh, sleeping area and head and wardrobe. It's home from home for you, isn't it? Uh, yeah. 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 Yes. yeah. Fantastic. So we did, this is uh, day head and the same for uh, for this cabin. Yep. And uh, this is the other, the whip cabin. It is a very high uh, bed, mm -hmm. but we did it because it's two two things why we did it. First is if you are sailing long times, and uh, um, then you need storage. Right, this is important. Storage, yeah. storage. So and this bed now has two with this high. We have big storage under this. You can open this. There's really a uh, huge storage. And the other thing is, uh, we want. Normally here is a 1.40 meters of bed, so it is. I think in English it's a queen size. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think queen size. But we have friends; they are a little bit bigger and massive. So I said I want to have minimum king size, but this is uh, 1.8 meters now. Mm -hmm. And because of the hull shape, if you can imagine, the hull shape is like this. If you have a 1.4 meters bed, it is here. But if you want to have a 1.8 meters bed, it moves up to get it in this hull shape. Yep. That's why it is as high as it is. And you have the storage. That's why it is special, but uh, you can uh, uh, easily, it's easily to access with these steps here. And we had a lot of uh, guests and they enjoy. <laughs> Perfect. There's still a lot of headroom above it as well, actually, yeah, isn't there? Is. Yeah. It is. So just another head. Fantastic. So you don't want to make fully, but just yeah. don't know how you will come. No, that's, <laughs> that's fine. That's no problem. We'll figure it out. That's great. Okay. So, and now one very special, what I love and what I want to have. This was a request from us to the shipyard. Mm -hmm. This normally is the first cabin yep. with a bunk bed and another head. So, and I said, okay, keep all pipings and all here, all cables, all what you need for you, keep it under the floor. So that maybe another owner can have here day head and can have here these uh, bunk beds and just another cabin. But we do really uh, large, very big uh, uh, sailings trips and we want to uh, sail the world. So that's why we have here storage. This is big wow. freezer. This is big fridge. Yes. So this is just uh, this is all storage for food and all this. So uh, you can bunker a lot. Uh, and then you can sail uh, weeks without uh, using it, without that you need any hardware. That's uh, fantastic. That's, uh, that's why we have this, and um, I think on boat sizes like this, who really lives with eight people? Of on course, board. yeah. And on this boat, you can live. We will later see the uh, sky deck, uh, sky launch. You can live with eight people because there is another bed. 
Mm. So no, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. But for us, we need this storage space. Yeah. yeah. Superb. Sorry, we're, <laughs> uh, we're, anyway. we're chasing John around the boat here. <laughs> there we go. I'll head back down again. So this is um, the sky uh, sky launch. This is fantastic. But it is uh, maybe f uh, the first uh, two or three weeks we sailed with the captain. Yep. And this is this was his uh, room because this is a king size bed. You just fold it out and it's king size bed. Perfect. And uh, so this is captain's room or sky deck. So if I'm captain by myself now, I just use this as Kydeck and uh, normally bearing it the same like the other room here is normally a day head or a head for the captain. Mm -hmm. uh, I just left all packings here, so if another owner says I want to have here the head, it is no problem to bring it in. But I said please take it out because uh, we have Kubik cabin with a full head. So I said he captain if a captain is sailing with us, he can use this crew cabin head. Yeah. So this is and this is where I come from. All my life was rock. <laughs> oh wow, fantastic. <laughs> That's right. But this is just uh, if you are um, sailing by night, uh, you can, as for me as captain, I'm just sleeping. Our deck stew is just sailing the boat by night, so I can sleep here. That's why you can close this and close all doors, then you will not be disturbed from all these lights and things. That's once again. I think we need some grease. Yes, and this is greenhouse. Wow. Playground for campus. It's really, really, uh, really nice uh, wheelhouse. And now the, the video uh, I sent you from uh, our crossing the Biscaya. Now you can imagine the waves, how it was. Yeah. These 45 knots of wind and these waves. So and you were they, filming from up here? I filmed from up here and then you see the wave is coming all over the boat. So you now can imagine because if from this place uh, on this video that you think oh this is not a wave this is uh, it is not not that much but yeah. it was now you see okay it splashed all over the boat yeah. it was really high so we had really hasty weather and it was really a good test for the boat and she did it really good at this time yeah so but now you can imagine how high the waves have been yeah that's fantastic and you get some tremendous visibility from up here as well maybe just clean for Okay. Better Excellent. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, that's really good. Really, really good. Yes, from here you can uh, just here you sail the boat. Yes, what is uh, yeah, and this this is ah. the remote control I told you. Yeah. So for me, I maybe other yard owners think different, but I say for me. I uh, have, uh, I think this, this interference is a problem, that's why I have wired. So it's 20 meters of cable, I can go all over the boat from this. I have a, a plug, uh, a socket at the bow, I have a socket at cockpit. So with this I can steer the boat from every point where I am. So it is possible to go in these narrow places, because I can stand anywhere uh, where it is especially narrow. I have full control with uh, thrusters, engine control, fully. So it's, ah, it's perfect. Yeah, that's and fantastic. I can recommend these really other captains and yard owners. It's really, really uh, a good, good, good thing. Really. Yeah, yeah. There's a huge advantage over just having a, um, a stern docking station is that you can literally move it to wherever you need to be, can't you? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. That's brilliant. Well, what I'd love to do now, if we may, is have a little sit down because I'm keen to understand your boating journey, what, how you started, how you got to here, and what you plan to do with it. Okay. So can we go and do that? Okay, we can do it. Yes. Fantastic. Okay. Perfect. Maybe. Okay, so Michael, the things I'm interested in is how did you get into boating and uh, and what boats you've owned so far up until this one? So I get Thank into boating, much. I think it's 20 years ago. It is uh, with my son. I had a, uh, a tour with a, with a kayak uh, at the coastline of Mallorca and it was with a, a sunset and it was so amazing, uh, beautiful that we said we need a boat. Right, fair <laughs> enough. We need a bigger boat than this kayak. And this yeah. was uh, the first, uh, order this, and then we bought the first boat. It oh. was just a 26 footer and uh, just a motorboat too. Uh, displacement, uh, not a, display, a pleasure yard. Um, and 
so we had this only one year and it's all the time the same uh, the problem with the boat is it's always too small always they, <laughs> and you know i'm convinced they shrink as well when you yeah. buy a boat you think <laughs> that's do, all yeah. the boat i'm going to need and then within two years it, it's too small again <laughs> so do. when was that so this was in 2008 then we bought our or 2007 we bought our first uh, fairline then we had a yep. fairline uh, phantom 40 then and this we kept uh, i think four years and then we bought uh, a squadron 55 what is on the platform of 58 it's uh, the same so and the, with this boat we started uh, we had so much fun and then we started uh, to travel the mediterranean with, with this boat and when I say uh, travel, we really travel, and this is what I uh, then uh, found out, or then I, I, I saw when we are traveling with this squadron, we never did with speed. So we not raced the Mediterranean, we just traveled. And so with this boat, we just, it, we feel, felt comfort, comfortable with 10 knots, 9 right. 10 knots. Yep. So, yep. and then with autopilot, we just traveled, and uh, all the coastline um, of uh, from Barcelona down to Denia and all this, all these uh, Balearic Islands, and this was just uh, that moment that this uh, idea was born, uh, why won't we travel the world by boat, uh, or parts of the world by boat? So, and this started in uh, 2000, uh, 2010, 2010, the stream came up, and so and one time uh, we said, okay, now why why don't we do that? And uh, let's have a boat, a boat with uh, what we can travel parts of the world. But then it was uh, clear that it could not be a pleasure yacht, because uh, pleasure yachts uh, are not uh, do not have this range, and uh, do not have this comfort, do not have this capability, stability, and all this uh, what you need for traveling uh, the world for not only Mediterranean just. Uh, have heavy seas, heavy weathers, uh, no possibility to escape in a, in a harbor, in a marina. So we need uh, uh, explore, ex uh, an explorer yacht. So right, so when we're talking about a pleasure yacht, we're really talking about planing boats, high performance, 25 knots, yes. fair lines, princesses, that sort of yes, thing, yes. which of course are a great boat and they, and they serve their purpose well, but they're not redesigned Absolutely. for exploring are they we were very happy with our uh, with our fair line very not not we had two of them because we <laughs> were very happy with these boats really and uh, if you go mediterranean if you only have uh, then i only would buy pleasure yacht sure yeah. but for this um uh, uh, route what we want to do um you cannot do uh, with the range it starts with the range and it ends with the stability with all these weather conditions uh, it is not possible we had with this fair line we had some days with really hasty weather and you know how it is if you have two meters of wave with the pleasure yard bumping on this wave if you have 40 knots of wind uh, with the pleasure yard this is not so uh, not so funny that's why we have uh, decided to have an explorer yard yeah. and because we are only traveling with eight nine ten knots and this is with this boat is the cruising speed so it's perfect fantastic so what was it what did you look at then what which uh, were there any particular makes that you looked at what what was your sort of your progress then towards yeah. this starter boat when we started or when i started this was two, uh, 2018 2017 i started with uh, uh, um, looking at the market what is what what is already there my first idea was to buy a pre-owned yard or pre-owned boat because you know you don't have these problems you have with a new boat <laughs> yeah it's normal so that's why i said okay let's have a two or three years old boat but there was nothing on the market and uh, and if you at this time if you had a look in the internet uh, and you're searching for explorer yards all the time pops up bearing right and then i had the first contact with bearing yards and we visited the boat yard i think it was in 2000 80? I think it was in 2018. We had the first uh, visit there, but then it, it get out of mind for, for one year uh, or for two years. And then there was uh, Bogdan uh, from uh, Bering uh, who called me one day and said, Hey, Michael, we um, uh, have got a hull here. It is uh, finished in welding, but not uh, in the interior. Uh, and the owner wants to get out of this contract. Maybe you want to see this hull. And then we visited again uh, Bering Shipyard and we saw this hull it was just well lit, nothing else and I said okay let's see what can we do what can we 
change in the uh, in all the drawings what are already done and then uh, we could we could change a lot you see all these colors all this so we could uh, customize we could uh, change these heads what I showed you before some changing heads we could especially change this uh, fourth um, um, uh, cabin to us uh, to this galley uh, to this pantry now mm -hmm. this was important so we changed a lot and then we built uh, and then we decided okay we, we built the boat with, with bearing that's the story about this, yes. That's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, that's great. That's really sort of living the dream, isn't it? Be able to build your own boat to it your is. own standards, because you're never going to buy one like that, it I don't is. think. Yes, it is. I never... Secondhand, I mean. Yes, it is. I, I want to buy secondhand, but now it is uh, built, and it is, I, it is just really living a dream, because it was a dream to travel parts of the world uh, with a boat. And uh, these parts, what we want to travel is not only the Mediterranean, that is like we did now. We did Atlantic now, uh, we did Biscaya, but it's really, um, uh, I think every sailor knows about the Biscaya. How it yeah, it has a reputation. <laughs> <laughs> so we did it now, and now the plans for the next year, next year we want to go from uh, Great Britain, we want to go to uh, Norway, to do the west coast of Norway up to Lofoten. One of my dreams is to have the Midsummer Night, uh, what is in uh, June. We want to have the Midsummer Night in uh, Lofoten and then go back to Great Britain. And next year uh, we want to sail uh, from Iceland to Greenland and then to Newfoundland and then do all the way down at the east coast of, uh, of uh, America. Uh, it's a dream sometimes uh, to wink, to make a wink to Liberty from the, wow. from the own boat. <laughs> yeah, that would be fantastic. <laughs> so maybe we, we're gonna have this. This is a dream, then go down to um, Florida or uh, to do a part of the intercoastal waterway, yep. uh, what is there at the uh, east coast and then go to Florida and then uh, at the winter time, so in October, November, to be at the Bahamas and to st uh, then stay in the ba at the Bahamas. That sounds uh, absolutely brilliant. Just a dream. That's yeah, <laughs> that's a good dream. So what sort of time scale do you think that's going to take? I mean, how long have you given yourself? Have you given yourself a time scale or are you now just living on the boat and traveling? We're just living on the boat and traveling. So. If you have a schedule, it will change. Yeah. So we had it now. We uh, right in this year we saw it. We just started in uh, in uh, March in Antalya, and the schedule was to be in uh, uh, Great Britain in uh, end of May, beginning of June, but it was not possible. The, there was no the weather was not that, and there was something to do on the boat, some uh, warranty things, some something to repair, uh, and so now we uh, came to in August to Great Britain. So, but that's why we don't have any uh, schedule, or we have. Just the route is given. Yep. We want to do this route, but the schedule is open. We do it with the weather. We do it if there's some. Sometimes it is very beautiful at some spaces. We had it in Sardinia. It was so beautiful there. So we decided to stay a week more, uh, and that's it. Why we are traveling? We are not racing the world. We are yeah. traveling the world. We want to see. Uh, we're traveling the world because we want to see a lot, uh, a lot of spaces, a lot of lovely spaces, and that's why uh, we just do it uh, step by step. So that's no pressure. That's no pressure. fantastic. Well, that is really, really, genuinely living the dream. I, and I, I wish you all the luck with your plans, and I should be very keen to see how you get on and uh, and follow you. your progress. Thank you very much. That's brilliant. <laughs> well, there we go. I think that's been one of the best meet the owners we've ever had because I think really that what Michael is planning is what we all dream of doing, and that is getting a fabulous boat and just taking off. <laughs> with no plan other than the route, just keeping on going. And uh, yeah. That sounds pretty good to me. Michael, thank you so much. That's been thank brilliant. You. Thank you. Thank you. It's been really interesting. Um, thank you. It was a pleasure. <laughs> thank you. As I say, I've um, I've done a full yacht tour on this boat. So if you want to see into every area, that will be online. If it's not online already, it'll be online very, very soon. So look out for that. And, uh, and you can check this entire boat out. Let me know what you think of uh, Michael's dream in the comments. Uh, I suspect you'll probably think the same as me. It's absolutely fantastic. And we will look forward to catching you on one of these real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.